Good evening, Metal Brothers. This is Metal Troll here. Um, I've been away for a while, and you know that I do that quite often because of work and not being able to make videos that frequently. Well, not much to do about it, but I'm still there, and I'm still trying to do what I can do, and still try to do reviews and talks about it, but it just takes a little bit longer. Today I'm going to do a review which is long overdue, and that's from my brother's in We Are Sentinels, a collaboration between a vocalist and a keyboarder, which you may not or may know. Um, I will introduce the two band members from it. They're Matt Barlow and Johan Weingarten. This is the album. And I don't do these kind of things often, but I love Matt Barlow. He is has to be one of my favorite vocalists in metal. One of my favorites, as I said. There's quite a range, but he really does make everything he makes sound good. And that's a skill on its own. But I can praise all I want, but let's let's just go on. So we are sentinels. Um <clears throat> I got this physical copy because I'm from Holland and Germany sold the physical copies via Amazon. So I was like, I need to have this. So hence is why I got it. I didn't buy it from America. I just bought it from here. So you have fans here, but you know that <laughs> it's a very, it's a very simplistic design as album, but the songs are amazing. It has a little booklet. With, of course, as mandatory as it is, the band picture and the lyrics, just to show some. And it's basically like, what I think, it's like story music. It's not metal, but it's like so bombastic and symphonic. And every song really clicks. And from the opening track of... Um, from my tower which was also a clip on youtube and wow um i was blown away by the album i say it often that i was blown away but i am literally blown away because i usually only listen to metal on these kind of things but this really makes me feel good it's really calming it's really powerful it's just like when you when you listen to it and you're like wow i need to listen to it more and i really want to listen to it more and i listen to it quite a lot there are some nice surprises, especially one of the la the last track of the album, which I will come through a little bit later. Um, but it also has like we know from Pyramaze and Iced Earth, where Matt Barlow used to be in, that there's like stories going on, and they also have Winter Trilogy on it. So that's basically three songs comparing in 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 the one story because it's a trilogy, or else it will be something else, eh? So, we know what the trilogy is, so, the trilogy, good spelling, anyways, um, the trilogy is like, Kingdom in Winter, Dreaming in Winter, and Battle in Winter, so, it's the whole winter theme, because it's the winter trilogy, <laughs> but, it's like, you listen to it, and it really sounds like a story, it's like, when you watch a movie, it could be a soundtrack to a movie. Every song could be a soundtrack to a movie. And it could make a whole nice movie. And it could make a whole like virtual novel kind of thing. But yeah, it's so hard to explain what it is. It's basically, it's very symphonic music played by keyboard and some percussion and these kind of things. Matt singing, trying to get the emotion in from the whole story from every song and every lyric and it's very good see but if you really want something upbeat and up pumping don't buy this album because that's not a beat it's basically just chilling out but if you love good music good vocals and good combination and everything you should get this album this this really is something even if you just download it via itunes or these kind of things but Please, do, do support them. Because maybe they will come to Europe and that will be amazing to see them in like a bar setting or a small venue to see them play that life and everything. Because 
I know a lot of metalheads be like, yeah, well, maybe I wouldn't like it, but you never know until you try. And that's a thing. See, I am a big Iced Earth fan, and I love Pyramaze, but when Mike Barlow joined Pyramaze, I was like, oh my god, this album is amazing. And it is. The band is good, but it just elevated it, and that gave the band a kick too, to make better music than there was. Than they did before, anyways. But, um, this is just an in-between project, and I hope to hear more from We Are Sentinels, because I've been waiting for this album quite a long time, and when I heard they were releasing it, but in USA, and I was like, well, fair enough, Matt is from the USA, so that's easier to distribute there, and then it said, but you can also get it in Germany. I was like, really? Can you get it in Germany? I was like, okay, I have to try and get that. So I went to get it, I ordered it, because to my luck, Amazon just released a Dutch version of the German Amazon, so I could just get it easily. I was like, <laughs> that saves me the hassle from focusing on the screen and trying to translate everything to German, because it's easier to hear and speak than to read, for me at least. So I ordered it, and from the first time, I, I was sleepy. So the first time I listened to it, I was sleepy, and I was like, is this a good pick to listen to it now? But then it started off with the songs, and I just listened to the lyrics, and it just took me on the journey. It just took me on the journey till all the place I had to be, and every song pictured a, made a picture in my head, and a story playing from the like I said from from my tower to my only sin, and then life, death, and rebirth. It just really just hits you. I'm not going to be emotional about it, but it really is a good album. It really makes me happy to live now so I can hear this. And I will try and pass it on to the younger generation to see if they would like it too. Just just to keep it going, because these bands don't, these groups, bands, don't come around often. Because there's just quite a few things that you're like, wow, happy that I actually got there and was there to actually listen to it and yeah those kind of things it really is an amazing thing it's really really yeah soul food air and music is just it just goes into your mind and really plays with you and that's a thing that i think music should be able to do of course you can have nice music to bang your head to and be like yeah, fuck this shit is amazing but this also is like this is actually very amazing. If you sit there, you can have a drink, you can listen to it, because it's not interrupting. It's really just there to make you happy, to make you listen to stuff, and then you're like, I'm so happy now. Though some songs are really like um, a song that I would basically play on my funeral. It sounds very morbid when I say it, but it's called In Memoriam. That song really made me like, wow, that's going to be when people go have to leave from my f funeral. I'm going to play that song, because that's then the last song that they hear. Because there's a lot, will be a lot of upbeat songs, but that song really has to be in there, because it's such a magnificent piece of orchestration of the whole song. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. And then Sirens of Odyssey. Well, we know Odyssey. We know the Sirens. We know that's basically from the Greek mythology. It's just a story. Listen, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you about what kind of music they make. I already said. But you have to listen. Maybe you will experience it differently than I do. And that's probably perfect because that's what music is for. Um, but I'm going to finish off the list. So we have like Miracle, which is just another amazing song. And Soul on Fire. Not thinking that it's like, well, that sounds like Hearts on Fire. From Hammerfall, that's a totally different band, so they have nothing to do with that. But Soul and Fire is a very good song. And then we come to the last song, which really surprised me, because when I opened this album, I just put it in, and I didn't look at any of the song names. So I was like, that the last song, Song 11, I was like, hmm, this is very familiar. And then, I, and then it clicked. It's like an orchestrated version of Holy Diver by Ronnie James Dio, sang by Matt Barlow. And I was like, that's gutsy. 
that is really gutsy to do because just to, just to ex change that song to just to do it differently that is just gutsy and it worked it really worked it's a very good album this this album let me zoom it in let me then you can read everything this album you should really get it's a masterpiece but i say that from all the albums that i review because if i didn't like him that much i would probably not review it so a little bit biased but i will try to do my stuff but this album really is an album you should get if you're loving metal or not if you love pop or not if you love any kind of music if you like like classic you would actually enjoy this album maybe not pop but classic and metal rock hard rock more along the line like even blues maybe be like that you like yeah this actually does sound nice you can just put it on and you can just talk it can fuse with your background music as background music and front music if you want to listen to it loud so please get this album support the band support the people because it's not something that you just make one two three it's very good it's a very good effort just to make something change and a lot of metalheads love it because i saw reviews and i'm like i need to make a review kind of thing too and little talk about it and i actually asked the band if they would like me to make a video which is the reason why i said it's long overdue because i asked them quite a long time ago right as the album got released but i i i didn't have the time as i said and now it really finally came together so i really hope the band and you people like it it's a little bit of a messy thing but that's always with my videos because i just wing them i never prepare them so but if you guys watch this thank you so much you guys rock and if you liked it please like or dislike or subscribe would be amazing would help not that I try to earn money with it just because I like to get my word out and I like people to spread the stuff in the word and that's just it so thank you all for watching I will see you guys on the next video all hail